Police are investigating a fatal shooting involving an unidentified male on Rochester's Genesee Street on Christmas night. Capt. Tony McCollin said the shooting happened about 5.30 p.m. Monday. He said Monday night the crime scene remains fluid with officers conducting neighborhood checks, collecting video evidence, and following up leads. McCollin said an officer was driving north on Genesee when he heard what he believed to be gunshots. The officer did a U-turn and headed toward the intersection of Genesee and Kirkland. The officer found a man who was shot outside of an apartment building on Genesee Street. The officer called for paramedics and firefighters, McCollin said. But the victim was dead before first responders could administer first aid. McCollin didn't identify the victim or provide an age. He said potential family members had identified themselves at the scene and were working with investigators to identify the victim. Genesee Street, between Kirkland Road and Frost Avenue, was closed for nearly 10 hours and reopened shortly after 3 a.m. Technicians didn't immediately start processing the scene, McCullen said, because we didn't have a confidence level that the scene was totally secure. We had to check some additional locations. And we have done that now, McCullen declined to identify the additional locations or how they might be connected to the fatal shooting. It's been really fluid, he said. The conditions are really extreme out here. We have to keep cycling our officers out of the cold and get them into some warmth. It's been a long evening, McCullen declined to specify how many times the man was shot and where he was struck. Homicide investigators will continue to try to identify some witnesses with knowledge of the shooting, McCullen said. If that develops, maybe we can get a suspect named in short order. He said a fatal shooting is always difficult, but with this occurring on Christmas, he said it hits the officers and community members even more. It is really sad that on Christmas, you know, we are investigating the death of somebody, McCullen said. I just talked to a citizen on the way here inquiring what was happening. And when I informed them that someone was shot, there was just disbelief, but we're here. We're doing our job and hopefully we'll find somebody responsible for this, no suspects are in custody. The investigation is ongoing, check back for further updates.